dear girl, there are some things that just aren't done, such as drinking Dom Perignon 53 above a temperature of 38 degrees Fahrenheit. That's as bad as listening to the Beatles without earmuffs. Anyway, in my opinion, you're all wrong for it. I'm all wrong for what? That song. I told Orville he should send it to Bobby Darren or Elvis. Elvis who? I suppose you never heard of the Beatles either. Oh, sure, and I can sing better than all three of them. There are four of them. Oh, haven't you heard? One of them got his hair cut in his guitar and was electrocuted. You can make jokes about them, but they're young and they're popular. Why, you... That group is pretty good, don't you think, Duke? Mmm, not bad. We were thinking of hiring them for a, a show our sorority is going to give. I think they're almost as good as the Beatles. You must be kidding. <laughs> the boys would sure get a kick out of that. What boys? Huh? Oh, nothing. You know, Paul, John, Ringo, the Beatles. You mean you know the Beatles personally? Doesn't everybody? Do you really know the Beatles? Do we really know the Beatles? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my dear. <laughs> Half past seven. Oh, what was that the Beatles just sang? We could work it out, yeah. Yeah, 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 we can work it out. <laughs> it is your duty to change the world, if you can. Not by violence, peacefully, individually, not as a mob. Take the Beatles. They started a huge social revolution. The fashions they set in dress and, and hairstyles are worldwide now. Every new fashion is a form of rebellion. But I suppose if one's decided to go irredeemably to pot, Tangier is the best place to do it, with tangerine trees and marmalade skies. Lucy's in the sky with diamonds. I mean, what could be better than Mozart or Bach or you? Jenny? Mm hmm? I'm up there with Bach and Mozart. Mm hmm. And the Beatles. Huh? Well, just anyone? People, anyone famous, just name them. Uh, dead people, too? Uh, why not? Some of my best friends are dead people. <laughs> Come on, go ahead. Okay, uh, the Beatles. Mo Pertil. Mo Pertil? Let's do the Lennon deportation at the end of three. I'm strong enough to bump? In one, then. I'll do a lead on Sarah Jane. And it's from London that we go to Switzerland. To the Ruttles' second movie, Ouch. Filmed in colour, on location, very expensively, not in London. Ouch, you're breaking my heart. Ouch, I'm falling apart. Ouch, ouch. And I know everything there is to know about the Beatles. There's nothing I don't know about the Beatles. I'm the greatest Beatles genius in the history of the universe. Go ahead, ask me anything about the Beatles. Ask me how tall John is, and the answer come back, five foot eleven. Ask me when George's birthday is, and the answer come back, February right, 25th, 1943. You know There's nothing it's I don't know about the Beatles. Ask me anything there is to know about the Beatles. How many legs pin up with the red hair? No, that's Rita Hayworth. Hem we, do we have to go over this all the time? Rita who? Rita Hayworth, are you joking with me? I, I never know when you Of course I'm it. joking. You think I'm unaware of any event pre Paul McCartney or something? We just got out of trouble. You want to put us back in? Are you kidding? What's that thing in here? You know the Beatles broke up. So we bust up this joint, huh? Yeah. Hey, you two should get a room, you know? Hey, Ringo, play something hot, will you? And you guys. You know why it's really failed? I can't imagine. As I was going under, I started to recite Shakespeare, the Talmud, the formulas of Einstein, anything I could remember, even a song from the Beatles. It armored me, girl. We need 5,000 bucks fast. <laughs> 5,000 bucks? Who do you think you are, the Beatles? Look for the girl, the sun in her eyes, and she's gone. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. 
Los Beatles. Ringo. Really? Pablo. How you doing? Hi. Hi. Juan. Juan. How are you? Jorge. Jorge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm Mick Jagger. What a decent night, huh? It's my birthday. You say it's your birthday. It's my birthday too. Don't need that, okay? Hey, June. Just stop it, okay? You don't find that offensive? No. You don't no. find that sexist? This is 1982. That's Bobby, right, it's on. 1982. Get out of the 60s. We don't have this mentality anymore. Well, you should Listen have seen the me. cover they wanted to do. I don't care what the they club, want. Believe See, me. now, this is something, Ian, that you're going to have to talk to your boys about. We're, we're certainly not laying down any conditions. And I don't think that a sexy conditions. cover is the answer for why an album sells or doesn't sell. Because you tell me, the white album? What was that? There was nothing on that goddamn cover. <coughs> is he all right? Oh, he caught a call the other day, and he's just a little horse. Get your money over. Whoa, whoa, It's cool. been a hard day's night, and I've been working like a dog. But when I get... So this evening, we are proud to present the Flying Sorrento Brother. But first, before that, I'd like to introduce four lads from Liverpool, the Beatles. But before the Beatles... Oh, Doctor, are you all right? Where am I? You're in the records room. The records room? Oh, I'm fine. Can I get you something? Uh, yeah, do you have the Beatles' White Album? Their rockin' roughage victory tour continues to sweep through the English countryside. In other news, Paul McCartney bought up the publishing rights to all locomotive sound effects tapes. And this makes Paul rich. Hello? But does it make him happy? No, I blame Glass. Well, we're almost out of time. What did you want to be when you were young? When I was a kid, I wanted to be John Lennon. Carl, don't be a goof. I know a lot of people like to believe that. I wish I could, but I was there. I wasn't here in the classroom, hoping I was right, thinking about it. I was up to my knees in rice paddies with guns and Edward going up against Charlie, slugging it out with him while pussies like you were back there partying putting headbands on, doing drugs, listening to the goddamn Beatle albums! Oh, oh. I quote John Lennon, I don't believe in Beatles, I just believe in me. A good point there. After all, he was the walrus. You're the maid? Damn, man, I want to see if the shit ain't worth dying over. Hell, you know, Liz and Dick, Lennon and McCartney even, Ali and Frazier. <laughs> they all worked it out. So can we, David. Right? I know that you've received at least two other offers from agencies. You turn them down, or else I'm going to throw you right out your new window. Well, Charlie, they're not going to make me a partner. Why would I go with anybody else? Partner? Boyle, Gargus, Lionel, and Basner? Like John, Paul, George, and Ringo. You're pretty cocky. No, no, just pretty capable. I fail to see the humor of this. Go to your room. You're grounded. What? <laughs> grounded? Put that down. Oh, my God. That's the story of my life. I am an adult. I want to have fun. I'm going to go to Liverpool and discover the Beatles. Jack, take it easy. She gave blood at school oh, today. Sing that stupid song. If I fell in It's not going to work, you, Stephen. Would you promise not in the shadow of Cookie. To be true. Stephen, don't even try it. Help me it's not working. Understand. Don't sing that song. I've never forgiven you for Cookie Gurnage. That I've been in I love haven't. before, Nick. And if I love it's more Stephen. And just. If I give my Did Cookie really crumble? <laughs> to you, I must be sure from the very stone that you love me. Good and stand. Am I interrupting you? What have we done? Oh, my God! Calm down. You were a little love to sing a few songs. The Beatles? The entire catalog. What else? These are my friends. That's Sidney. He's a wandering Jew. This is Mona. Hi, baby. 
They actually like different kinds of music. If I play the Beatles, the begonias perk up. If I play Beethoven, they wither. The ferns very definitely like the Boston Pops. But everybody loves Mozart. That was before President Kennedy was shot. Before the Beatles came, when I couldn't wait to join the Peace Corps. And I thought I'd never find a guy as great as my dad. Am I right in thinking we're still interested in writing the Beatles script? Oh, yes. Why don't I call Brian now and set up a meeting? Smash it. Is it Epstein? Or Epstein? In 1969, Richard Nixon was inaugurated president. Bobby Kennedy and Martin Luther King had been assassinated the year before, and the Beatles were still together. You were the one that sang to me? What, 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 what did you sing? What, what, what was that song? What did you sing? What? She was just 17. And you know what I mean. And the way she looked was way beyond compare. So how could I dance with another? Ooh. I saw her I'm too old for you, Laura. Ow. I mean, you don't know about Vietnam, Easy Rider, Beatles. Start over, Grandpa. It's funny. I don't remember Eleven being this tough. 1964. I played second base in Little League. The Beatles were on the radio. I saw my first James Bond film. James Bond was alive then? And he's a, he was a pioneer in the civil rights and the anti-war movement. I mean, he made the cover of Newsweek. He knew everybody. He did everything. And he helped shape his time. I mean, the guy hung out with the Beatles. But in the end, it wasn't enough. Four attempts have been made on my life, and if you open that door, you could end up dead, right. you know Listen that? to me, what, listen what? to me. We are at the top of a veritable fortress oh, right really? now, okay? Yes, we are. There are presidents stay here, oil sheets stay here, friends of Lee Iacocca stay here, oh. George Harrison stays here. He Simply yes, because it has the best security money can buy. When she arrived at Wheaton for her first semester, she was acting very strangely. Always wearing the same clothes. Never washing, except just putting on more and more makeup and perfume. She'd remain silent for hours and then talk obsessively about Paul McCartney. Sentiment. Yeah, you know, well, the, the old days. Yeah, funny old days. For good or for bad. It'd be like for you, I suppose, a uh, picture of the Beatles. Yeah, the huh? Beatles. They're actually before my time. Well, whatever. What do you think? Yeah. Hey, you look like a Ringo Starr. He's leaving home, boy. I gotta go. Wow, this is the coolest thing. I can really eat and sleep here? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna drive us to Liverpool. Liverpool? Big Ringo fan. Oh! I can't figure him out, Jimmy. He talks like a bleeding priest and he's wearing slippers. He's played with all the greats. Even the Beatles. Beatles? Yeah. All you need is love. Di, 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 di. That was Joey. Oh, fucking asshole. asshole. Damn, Morrison. I got the person death, Morrison. Oh, yeah. Fix my fucking drug addicts because of you. What are we, the Beatles now, John? We took drugs to expand our mind, not to escape. Who can name all the apostles? Yes, Dolores. John, Paul, George, and Ringo. <laughs> hey. hey, how you doing? Hey. Gar. Hey, Tiny, who's playing today? Jolly Green Giants, mm. Shitty Beatles. The Shitty Beatles? Are they any good? They suck. But it's not just a clever name. <laughs> it was now 1968. Dion was on top of the charts. The Beatles were changing the way we lived. The Yankees were in last place, and I didn't give a shit. Hi, Dad. This is Jessica. Well, it's nice to meet you, Jessica. 
Dad, this is amazing. If you play this backwards, it says Paul is dead. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I know. How do you know? Okay. okay. How many fingers am I holding up? Couple, How many fingers? Four, five, four, Couple. five. Yeah. How many yeah. Beatles were there? Three. And Ringo. You okay? Yes. <laughs> you okay? I know all seven animal styles: the crane, the stag, the horse, the tiger, the bat, the rat, the monkey, the beetle. All right, we'll take you, old man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The truth, I stick to the classics myself. I'm afraid rock and roll's been all downhill since Lennon died. Oh, yeah. You know, my whole life, people have been cramming this classic rock crap just down my throat. And you really think I give a shit about the Beatles? No offense, but today's music doesn't have a whole lot to say. They got the monkeys. Mm -hmm. They were a major influence on the Beatles. Yeah, I know. Forrest Gump, John Lennon. Welcome home. Had quite a trip. Can you uh, tell us... Um, what was China like? In the land of China, people hardly got nothing at all. No possessions? And in China, they never go to church. No religion, too? Oh. Hard to imagine. Well, it's easy if you try, Dick. Some years later, that nice young man from England was on his way home to see his little boy and was signing some autographs for no particular reason at all. Somebody shot him. You know? My darling dad had been here today. He would have been speaking now. And I know what he would have said. Great dress, babe, but why in the hell are you marrying the stiff in the skirt? <laughs> <laughs> And I would have given him the same answer that I give you. Because I love him. As John Lennon said, who died the same year as my dad, love is the answer. And you know that for sure. Up until now, we've been nice. But these are the finals, honey. And we're diving for every loose ball. What? I didn't like the Beatles, and I don't like you. You know, you're insane. Now, remember what John and Paul said. The Apostles. No, the Beatles. All you need is love. Hello, ladies. Barbara, we are going to your father's broadcast. No, I'm never coming out. I hate Paul. No one else can ever play another one of their records again. She's still going on about the stupid Beatles breaking up. They're not stupid. Barbara. You're stupid. Barbara. You know? She's holding you back, man. Everybody says it. She's like Yoko with bags. They don't say she's holding you back, okay? You got the list? I got it right here. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Shoot. Okay. The following men are older than you. Go. Paul McCartney. Yeah. Rod Stewart. Yeah. Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson? Oh, by eight. You, you okay? It's so sad. Cole, what is it? He wants to what? He wants to tell you something. He wants to be sure you understand. Couldn't we do this another time? No! Why do you assume that John Lennon's death would mean nothing to me? Do you think I'm stupid? I know who John Lennon is. I never said that he was... I, I can't read your lips if you don't look at me. I never said that you were stupid. You must think so. If you think I don't know who the Beatles are or any music at all. Well, oh, there's a fella. I mean, what's he doing, eh? He can take John Lennon. He can take those three young lads down at Ainsley Pit. He's even thinking of taking my old man and Margaret bloody Thatcher lives. I mean, what's he studying playing at, eh? Did I ever tell you you were my favorite cousin? I'm your only cousin. Well, you know what John Lennon said, one is all you need. I don't know, he said love, love is all you need. He was right. There's still love there, I think. Hmm? Love was never a problem. All you need is love. John Lennon, smart man, shot in the back, very sad. My name is Al McCoy. Ali Rigby. I'm, my mom named me after that Beatles song. Right. Eleanor Rigby. 
Not familiar with that. That's it. Guy Patterson. That's it, the wonders. And then you know how like the Beatles, the Beatles, they use an EA as the Beatles. Well, we can use an O and E like the wonders. You're talking gibberish. She's here, bring it to me now. Thank you, Phil. What's that? Why'd you get it sent here? Carla wanted to prove. She thinks it's dumb to spend six hundred dollars on an LP. Well, Carla's right. Why don't you just spend thirteen dollars on a CD, man? First of all, it's because I'm a Beatle maniac. And second, these sound better. Catcher in the Rye. You know, that's the book Chapman had on him when he shot John Lennon. I was just thinking that. Robert. Has he done something wrong? Yeah, he has, actually. He stole $5,000 from me. He did? Yeah. Well, I assure you he will be properly punished. Young man, stealing money from drug dealers. You are grounded, mister. Yeah, look, just get lost, you wanker. Gentlemen, have we learned nothing from the music of John Lennon? All we need is love. No, all we need is money, mate. Oh! Oh! I'm getting a black cat Friday the 13th kind of feeling about this one. It's in Detroit. You can take care of business and stop by Gross Point for your reading. Hey, look, Sergeant Pepper, I really need you to shut up about Sir, that. It's Adam V. Hoko! 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 Hoko, bird. Bird who can't sing, Hoko Ono. No, 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 no. This is a fascinating little gadget. It's going to replace CDs soon, so I'll have to buy the White Album again. Hundreds of people gathered in Central Park this afternoon to remember former Beatle John Lennon, who was murdered two years ago today. Lennon's killer... Hey, let me ask you something, Ross. Were you a Beatles fan? Uh... Y yes, I, I was once. Mm -hmm. uh, Lennon's killer, Mark David Chapman, is now, currently Mark David Chapman, 20... now there's a guy we got to talk about, Ross. Mark David Chapman, what do you make of him? I mean, he's probably in a prison cell right now, enjoying himself. I say electrocute him. you got to be with that program, huh, Ross? Well, what's I your opinion? this was a good idea. Uh, I, I'm, I think we're supposed to be having the news now. Forget that. Just repeat after me, Ross. I want to kill Mark David Chapman. Well, I was faithful, and boy, am I sorry now. Do you know who I could have slept with? Do you have any idea? I could have had the entire Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I turned down a Beatle for you! Yes, a Beatle. I remember Ringo stop being it, on a Beatle. Stop, stop Ringo. Now. Can you tell us about the government? Yeah, tell us everything. Is there a president? Yeah. What's his name? You know, I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> Come on. Please. Please. His name is Richard Starkey from Maine. He has a saying stuff's getting better. Stuff's getting better every day. Oh, you guys have been together longer than the real Beatles? Yeah. Great. Will you excuse me? But what about basketball? Just a vest. Basketball isn't a sport. Basketball's a freak show. Easy. You're on very sacred The side that breeds the tallest player wins. Also, it's a girls' game. As Do you baseball. know? Do you know only two good things ever came from England? One, America. Two, the Beatles. Beatles aren't English. Liverpool. Buddy, my leg off, huh? You degenerate pig! Please! Don't Can't be helped. Like Lucy in the sky with the diamonds. Oh, uh ho. -huh. Uh, Beatles lyrics, eh? What? Elastic thrombosis. They're guilty of lyric poaching. They're Beatles lyrics, aren't they? I don't know. Sorry. Of course you do, come on. Everyone is born knowing all the Beatles' lyrics instinctively. They're passed into the fetus subconsciously, along with all the amniotic stuff. Fact, they should be called the fetals. It's all Bitch. goddamn fake, man. It's like Lennon said. You look for the person who will benefit, and, uh, uh, you know... Uh, I am the walrus? You know, you'll, uh, uh, well, you know what I'm trying to say. I am the walrus. Uh, That's... 
fucking bitch. Oh, yeah. I am the walrus. That's ex Shut the fuck up, Donnie. D.I. Lennon. Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanov. Annie, would you hate very much running down to the studio with me? No, I'd love it. Since it's been here, here comes the sun. That man sitting over there in the white suit is the biggest thing that come out of this country since sliced beetles. How, how cool is this? He's a, he's, a, he's a beetle. He's not a beetle, but he's a, he's a, a spice girl. Or, or a, a beanie baby. You know, Matt, I think it's time to take your girlfriend out of the equation and get down into the you and me of it all. She's not my girlfriend. <laughs> See, Mac, I've been getting this little Yoko vibe, like all of a sudden your girlfriend's the one in control. I see things. You mean like a trip in? Of. Well, then they should put John Lennon away, huh? I'm not John Lennon. <laughs> Do you know, this is this is pretty amazing, actually. But I once saw Ringo Starr. Where was that? Kensington High Street. At least I think it was Ringo. It might have been that man from um, Fiddler on the Roof. You know, Toppy. Topol. Yes. That's right. Top, top hole. Mm -hmm. Actually, Ringo Starr doesn't doesn't look at all like uh, top hole. Yeah, but he was he was quite a long way away from me. So actually, it, it could have been neither of them. Yes, I suppose so. Yes. And now I would like to dance to our favorite song, "Baby, I'm Yours." My favorite song is Michelle My Bell. What? Oh, my. So embarrassed about no. this. Oh, don't no, worry. don't be embarrassed. When we tell the people in Ohio that we let Andrew Lloyd Webber five, Sir Andrew oh, Lloyd Webber. Oh, I know. Webber, it's sir, no, it's sir, 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 sir. Lord. I think he's a Lord. Lord. Sir Lord. Lord. Are you Lord? Sir Lloyd. <laughs> you know Paul McCartney? Oh. All right, shut up. All right, What's shut he up. like? Paul Is he like McCartney? son? Shut up. Shut up. What? what? And they don't just put somebody with one little hit on the cover of Rolling Stone fucking magazine, man. <laughs> Damn it, I'm going to enjoy this. When I first bought the magazine, the Beatles were on the cover. The Beatles. Four of them, four of us. Excuse me, I was in, in a minute. Couldn't you be any more obvious than that, Rob? How about, uh, I don't know, the Beatles? How about fucking, fucking Beethoven? Track one, side one of the Fifth Symphony. I never heard of that one before. So? Uh, wait a minute, 71, didn't Jimmy die in 1970? No, 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 D, that was um, um, Paul McCartney. So what do you give us for this piece of music history? We are the Titans, we are the Titans, mighty, mighty Titans, mighty, mighty Titans. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who do they think they are, the Beatles? Hairdressers are shitting themselves. <laughs> Will you please shut up? No. They did a test with three monkeys, right? Gave them all a Beatles style haircut. Oh. Now, they've been living with that cut for the past two years. And apparently, they're very happy with it. <laughs> no, this is the center of the universe. If I were living in Roman times, I would live in Rome. Where else? And today, America is the Roman Empire. New York is Rome itself. John Lennon. Jack. Yeah, sure. That's not exactly why I'm here. Israel Goldkist was pushed from the roof. That makes you a suspect. Oh, Jesus, bleeding Christ, I'll be paying attention. I'm talking the Beatles here, you know, the Fab Four. John understood. That's why they had him killed, you know? Herbert said you met the Beatles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Only one of them smart, though. The fellow with the glasses. Oh, he is my favorite. Yeah, folks were screaming and fainting. I said, man, is this how they act when you get big? What is it? He said, champ, the more real you get, the more unreal it's going to get. Okay, remember when Paul McCartney wrote the song Michelle, and then he only wrote the first part, Annie said, and then he gave that part to John Lennon, and he wrote the part that said, I love you, I love you, I love you. And, and Annie said that it wouldn't have been the same song without that, and that that's why... The whole world cried when the Beatles broke up on April 10th, 1970. So you must be a man out of time? 
Or Sergeant Pepper? Come on. Uh, I thought I smelled a pussy. Look who's here. Well, if it isn't Yoko Ono in bag five. What do you think you're doing? Hey, where's your high How you doing? Good. Did you get my message? Uh, no, no. My, uh, my phone machine's not really working there. Uh, so no. D did you call? Yeah, I got tickets for the Beatles reunion. The Beatles? Yeah, well, not the real Beatles, but Paul, George, and Ringo will be there, but Eric Clapton is filling in for John. It's an invitation-only acoustic set. Only about 70 people tops. Oh, man. See so you in? Uh, I once knew a guy who was a real loner. One day he woke up at 40 with two daughters that lit up his life with purpose and he suddenly goes to endless school plays and he gets home at 9.20 for the evening discussion and he, he has the time of his life. His favorite Beatle was once John and now it's Paul. I wish like George. It all depends on the individual, doesn't it? Help. Rubber Soul, Yesterday and Today, Magical Mystery Tour, The White Album. Stay warm, baby. Stay warm, all right? Let it be, Revolver, Sergeant Pepper. We may be a small country, but we're a great one, too. A country of Shakespeare, Churchill, The Beatles, Sean Connery, Harry Potter. What are the names of your instructors? Okay. Okay. John's the wise guy. Paul's the cute one. George is pretty quiet. And this the new kid, I can't remember his name. You're making up a boyfriend so you can get rid of me? No, I'm not. What's his name then? Ringo. Is his last name Star? No, McCartney. McCartney, okay. The Beatles never did get together in Toronto back in 1969. They never got together again. John Lennon's life was taken by a maniac with a gun. George Harrison's by cigarettes and cancer. Hey, Strawberry Fields, you know what it's named for? Some Beatles song, right? Close. It's actually the name of the orphanage in Liverpool where John Lennon used to play with his friends who lived there. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Neat. I took Rosemary on a tour of the park that would make your head spin. We watched you on the telly back home. My family, all the families. You were like the Beatles. Look, Frank. While Johnny was out recuperating, the world changed. Dylan's gone electric. Uh, the birds are electric. The beetles are electric. Hell, everybody's electric. Abba, but let's face it, it's a sad old list. Oh, what about the English? You brought us, what, sarcasm? Mm. And the Beatles. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, knowing me, yeah, knowing yeah. you. Love. So, you've got faith over here, right? A chance over there. Like yin and yang. Sort of. Oh, Shiva and Shakti. London and McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if that wasn't exactly what, what you What do you like about them, Jake? They have a fresh take on a retro sound, like early Beatles meets Blink-182. I'm gonna kill you the same way. You didn't kill him with kindness, did you? With a hammer. Like the Beatles song. <laughs> And also, you could say, uh, uh, obsessed with rock and roll stars, you know? It's like women rushing the stage, fainting. It was for Elvis, for the Beatles, for Mick Jagger just to say, this is your baby. <laughs> but maybe, just maybe, you might challenge me. God needs the devil. The Beatles needed the Rolling Stones. You guys changed people's lives tonight. I know, it was so awesome. Dude. Yeah, it was awesome, compared to bullshit. But compared to the greats, to Zeppelin, to the Beatles, to fucking Beethoven. Look at all these people. We're like the Beatles. Or Wham. Have a seat, Bill. Do you know John Lennon? 
Yeah, sure. He was the president before Lincoln. Lenin said, I'm an artist. You give me a fucking tuber, I'll get you something out of it. Where'd she come from? She came in through the bathroom window. Seeing as how this is the first television program which brought you the first appearances from everyone from the Beatles to the Buzzcocks, we like to think we bring you the most new and interesting sounds in the Northwest. What are you doing? We, we can't afford that. Hey, Mom. John Lennon, good to see you again. Good to see you. Mm. And I, I can't really tell you how I care. Well, I presume at the very least that you care something about what you sing every night. Are you... How can I answer that if you got the nerve to ask me? I mean, you've got a lot of nerve asking me a question like that. Did you ask the Beatles that? Do I? Or Mr. Eve of Destruction? Yeah, just Barry McGuire that? You ever get so bored that you just stare at your balls? I bet you do, late John Lennon. <laughs> Jason Stone, who looks like fucking Zach Morris, and Matt Muir. Matt Muir, he's the sweetest guy ever. Have you ever stared into his eyes? It was like the first time I heard the Beatles. We were nothing but grains of sand. That was freaking transcendental, Paul McCartney. Don't you agree, John Lennon? Yes, Dewey Cox. With meditation, there's no limit to what we can imagine. What do you think, George Harrison, of the Beatles? I don't know, you know, I'm just trying to get some more songs on the album, you know. And as Ringo Starr, I'm not so interested in meditation. I just like to have fun. <laughs> I like the little one. Well. Besides, you and me, it'd kind of be like cats and dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oil and water. Sandpaper and bare ass. That's gross. It's just gross. You'd be the ass. Yeah. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you very much. Lennon and McCartney. Honor. They were good together. Yeah, while it lasted, and then they couldn't even be friends. Huh? Isn't that what the Vietnamese used to say? Vietnamese? What are you talking about the Vietnamese? That statement makes no fucking sense at all. Yes, it does. The Vietnamese! We're saying it over and over ain't gonna make any more sense out of it. How, how, how does the Vietnamese have any relevance whatsoever to myself and my girlfriend ha having to breathe your friend's cigarette smoke. Tell me how saying... That's for John Lennon, you Yankee fucking cunt. Thanks. What? What's wrong? I can see the Dakota. John Lennon is my god. You know his song Mother? Yeah. I was a kid the first time I heard that. Why can't I write a song like Mother? Oh, I'll just send you a picture. Oh, my God. Is that John Lennon standing behind you? What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. What? It, you know? It, the big picture. Guess not. The Beatles. What about them? This. Look, other bands, they want to make it about sex or pain, but, you know, the Beatles, they had it all figured out, OK? I want to hold your hand. It's your first single. It's effing brilliant, right? First time with the program? Oh, God, really? Be like switch with me. No way, dude. Martin Gary. I can always spot a newbie. It's my fifth year with wings. I guess Paul McCartney's got nothing on me, huh? Love, take me down to the streets. It's not a wings song. Yeah, it's one of their hits from the 70s. I'm not sure which one. It's not a, it's not. It isn't? No. I think it might be. That's not. Here. I'm working on a song. Oh, uh oh, look out, everybody. Genius at work. Lennon and McCartney. Brrr, rolled into one. Okay, I'd like to get back to work. I would have been <laughs> <laughs> oh. I got blisters on my fingers. I'm totally serious. Are you joking around? No, I am not joking around. Octopus's Garden. Yes, Octopus's Garden's the best Beatles song ever recorded. Why don't you just say piggies? Come on, I love Ringo Starr. Nobody loves Ringo Starr. That's what I love about him. We don't want your money. No. 
Well, fine, because at the end of the day, it really ain't going to matter. You can have a hundred of these little things. You ain't never going to raise the kind of money it's going to take to save the meadows. Not unless the Beatles show up for a benefit concert. Oh, wait, small problem. <laughs> the big dog. There it is. Uh, let, me, let me ask you guys. Let me ask you guys. Beatles, Stones, on the count of three. One, two, three. All in. Beatles. Fuck you. I don't care. Uh, nice. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Lovely. Exactly. Lay your finger on the Rolling Stones. No, Mick time is. Jagger. Um... Is a spy, 007. Bond, James yes. Bond. Oh, uh, um, and the actor who plays. Oh, hello, I'm James Bond. <laughs> the actor who plays. Sean Connery. Yes. Quickly, quickly. Oh, hello, uh, I'm the Beatle. No, 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 no. That that one doesn't count. That was going to be good. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, six. <laughs> Says he confessed already. About killing JFK. Hmm? He killed John Lennon. Did you try to shoot the Pope in Rome, Jimmy? <laughs> Did you like the Beatles? They were all right. I was more Elvis. Jerry Lee Lewis. Yeah. I'm all shook up. Huh? <laughs> in the words of John Lennon, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not. The only one. The only what? No, that's the that's the lyric. Uh, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Oh, okay, Tim. We have a huge album coming out right now, African Child. Everyone is so excited about it. You must be too. When people look back at musical history, they'll say Sergeant Pepper, African Child. That's what they'll probably say. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Hey, John Lennon gets shot! Wait, that already happened? Never to the Beatles! John Lennon was my uncle! This band's about self-empowerment. Aphrodite, Cleopatra, Eurydice. No more second-class status sitting at boring concerts with their asshole boyfriends. The Runaways have the most chance of any group I've seen to do what the Beatles did, to tear this world apart. My cast comes off tomorrow. Want to take me dancing? <laughs> Clapton don't dance. Right, unless Ione's playing Oasis. Did you know that more Grizzly Lake kids have been conceived to Oasis than any other Beatles cover band? Definitely maybe it's like the British working class or Hypno. Eyes glazing. You better start doing things right from now on. No more sob stories. And we're stuck with the English accent now, Ringo. So commit to it. Don't choke, got it? Got it. But Miss Van Gundy, I want to talk about you and your life beyond all of this. Picture yourself in a boat on a river with tangerine trees and, and kind of a marmalade sky. Uh, I don't do drugs, Mr. Popper. You know, you're something of a legend around here. Your mom talks about you all the time. Let me guess. Tight-ass lawyer who is in need of a soul transplant. Actually, no. She's fonder of the details. You used to collect leaves. You like the Beatles. Everybody likes the Beatles. That is true. I know some of you believe I'm the reason Paul McCartney didn't buy an apartment here in 2008. Oh, uh, double chocolate chip muffin. Yum. Ah, ah, you have three Paul McCartney CDs. Awesome. You know, I love the Beatles. They are my life. Something. I mean, you were like the Lennon and McCartney of smuggling. How do you smuggle a fucking Ferrari? I mean, where do you hide it? We didn't. All the stuff, that'd be great. <laughs> We're gonna leave right after the show for London. They're challenging the Beatles to a hair pulling contest. I'm born famous. I'm sort of known. If your son if you do, doesn't, if, if your son doesn't, I bet you, you do. bet your daughter knows. Boom, boom, shh. Reg, you might as well get used to it. Rap's here to stay. Oh, I don't think it is. That's what you said about the Beatles. Well, it isn't music. They think it is. Who? The kids you're talking to. Ruby Sparks. 26 years old, raised in Dayton, Ohio. Why Dayton? Sounds romantic. 
Ruby's first crushes were Humphrey Bogart and John Lennon. She cried the day she found out they were already dead. These boxing gloves worn by Joe Lewis in his first fight. This is art. Get it? These were John Lennon's glasses. They're worth like a million dollars. And some lucky guy is going to make it work with her no matter what, instead of settling for some 23-year-old airhead who probably doesn't know who the fucking Beatles are. This one's for me. Alice, I know you'll get into NYU. $40 to print Punk Rocky in color next time. He knows me. He really knows me. <laughs> But in the meantime, why don't you girls check in, have a look around, while I talk turkey with Ringo Starr and Big Sister. Plenty to see. Lady? Shut up. I hated the first British invasion. I hate the second one even more. Even the Beatles? Really, Garrett? You like the Beatles, don't you? <laughs> Who doesn't like the Beatles? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you too. I missed you. I love you, man. Love you too. We're back. Oh my God. I'm Yoko. I'm Kathy, by the way. I'm Linda. It's George. Hello. George, huh? If you're George, then where's John, Paul, and Ringo? Yeah. <laughs> Where are they? Did you bring them? No, I didn't bring them. Not even Ringo. Nope. So, what are we gonna do? I mean, we don't have any transport. Right. Hey, Ringo, didn't you say something about a lovely speedboat? Apple, Apple computer. But what about Apple Records? Apple Records? The Beatles label. Oh, they own the word Apple? Why do you always hate the well, Beatles? Well, I do not yes, hate the Beatles. Do. You I do voice. not hate the Beatles. Voice. They're just, they're not Dylan, okay. and you know and that. And that's a comparison. Well, I, you always come, it's obvious. And I don't think it's fair. Now, I want something from you. I want you to give up the pills, give up the wine for the two or three days you'll be on the stand and keep your composure, just like you did around the Beatles. I mean, if Paul disagreed with you, did, did you scream at him? On Let It Be, I was proved right. Back to bed, sweetie. Do I have to dream when I sleep? Yeah, I'm pretty much sure we all do. They come on, they don't all have to be bad. Albert Einstein, remember him? Yeah. He figured out relativity in a dream. And Paul McCartney wrote entire songs. And I dreamt <laughs> the thought of your mum before I even met her. It's the Beatles. Yeah. I don't know. I think I always just like Paul the best. It doesn't matter. You know, you're missing the point. There is no favorite Beatle. That's what I'm saying. It's in the balance. That's what made them the greatest fucking rock bands in the world. Okay? Look, it's like the Beatles, right? I mean, I liked them when I was five. But at a certain point, you just want something with a little more nuance, you know? All right, don't get me wrong. I could handle them a little better when they had Pete Best to ground them, but. Past that, I don't know. They just got so pedestrian. So what did you do then? Got a job waiting tables. Started playing in the subway. No. Yeah. <laughs> and play all these like Beatles songs and made good money. Time. Got all kinds of new ideas, new sounds, new harmonies, new instruments. You hear the new Beatles? Yeah. You rubber soul? Yeah. It's, I heard it was about John Lennon having an affair. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, it works like a whole. It's like a whole album. Everything fits together. No fat. Like an album of, of folk songs, but the sounds are really far out. Lots of overdubbing. He's doing well. He's, he's nursed a grudge mm -hmm. a long time. <laughs> he's studied how the Russians play every day, 18 hours a day for four years. Mm -hmm. For him, uh, Vietnam and, and the Beatles never happened. I'm guessing he still has his opinions about the Soviets. And don't try to kill yourself, you were the band. No, it's we just me. Two nightmares. 
please. You have to let me. No, I don't. Do you want to be like the guy who turned down the Beatles? Good. Trust me. It's all right. it's all... No, that one's Jerry Seinfeld. That one's John Lennon there. No, the Dakota. Got any friends, Andy? No. Oh, well, why is that? I don't know. I just never really saw the use. Oh, who are you going to play with otherwise? Lennon and McCartney, they were school buddies. Am I right? Charlie Parker didn't know anybody until Joe Jones threw a symbol at his head. So that's your idea of success? John Lennon wrote you a handwritten letter in 1971. Can you fucking believe it? Read it! <laughs> Dude, Danny Collins. Hello? Anyone there? Take your business. Uh, my name is John Paul George. Like the Beatles? Yeah, I like the Beatles. The Beatles broke up. What? What did he say? The Beatles broke up. Here, let me try. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles! Ah! <laughs> You're fucking Ringo! <laughs> Of interest in that band. Do me a favor. Fucking Oasis rock up, a couple of mank car thieves with a Beatles songbook, and now we all have to go finding an indie band. Yeah. Look, you haven't been here long, Darren. No, come on. Give me that. <laughs> you <laughs> are a bully. Hey, don't talk about Yoko that way, man. Because if you do, you're out of the band. Who are you guys supposed to be? John Lennon and Yoko Ono. Oh, I thought she was a girl from the ring. And you were Jesus. Jesus. Well, I'm in love with him. Come on, there's no way you love Matthew Sobacek, the Pontiac Aztec of people. Laney, you having sex with Matthew Sobacek is basically the same thing as me telling an aborigine in the Australian outback that he's about to listen to the Beatles for the first time and then I play him Blues Traveler. That's a cruel joke, for I will have just tricked him into thinking Blues Traveler is the greatest band of all time. Okay? Now, if you were to sleep with Matthew Sobacek, you would be addicted to mediocrity for the rest of your life. And that barely covered vagina of yours deserves better than that. It doesn't deserve John Popper. It deserves John Lennon, okay? You understand me? I'm talking about, like, the White Album, not Hook. The Lisa was a failure. The Macintosh was a failure. I don't like talking like this, but I am tired of being Ringo when I know I was John. Everybody loves Ringo. And I'm tired of being patronized by you. You think John became John by winning a raffle, Waz? You think he tricked somebody or hit George Harrison over the head? He was John because he was John. He was John because he wrote Ticket to Ride. And I wrote the Apple II. Everybody, look, I want to clear Nobody the Apple Nobody moves. I have it on very good authority that many of the so-called underground groups have been infiltrated by communists. Oh. Yes, sir, and I find it downright anti-American. Just like the Beatles. The Beatles, well, I don't like them. They are anti-American. Hmm. Possibly with communist leanings. Well, just look at them. Let's look at the facts, Mr. President. After coming here and making all that money, they split back to England. Start saying all this anti-American stuff, speaking against us in the press. Well, some people think they can say anything. Specifically about our policies in Southeast Asia, sir. Did you know that? I did not know that. It was Lenin. Kids think he's some kind of prophet. Owen and I were like the Beatles, if the Beatles had been... Elfin? Geniuses. Pretty sure the Beatles were geniuses. And like them, we had a dream. Hey, it's not exactly the Beatles, is it? Oh, you know, will you go outside and start up the time machine there so we can all go back in time? Lordy, we need ourselves a good old-fashioned book burning. Let it go, Mary Olivia. <laughs> Ruth's daddy made us burn all our Beatles stuff one year. He thought Ringo was the <clears throat> devil. Stop it! It's my song, not yours! My pants want it just for me! Really?
your parents aren't Lennon and McCartney. No. Okay. So what's your plan? Plan? Well, yeah, I thought maybe you'd have a plan. Yeah, I've got a plan. I'm gonna call Paul and Ringo, see if we can get the band back together. Speed round, Paul or John? Early Paul, late John. Mario or Sonic? Early Sonic, late Mario. All right, ninjas, follow me. As long as we have these mechs, we're unstoppable. If we were the Beatles, you would be John, you would be Paul, you would be George, and I would be their computer. God, we haven't caught up in a spell, have we? No. Oh. The Avengers broke up. We're toast. Broke up? Like a band? Like, like the Beatles? Close your eyes. Have no fear. The monster's gone. He's on the run. And your daddy's here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful boy. Who are these four dinosaurs? Where's Madonna? It's a 20 minute set. Everyone gets the same. Jagger, Bowie, Elton, McCartney, The Who, Led Zeppelin, Phil Collins, Ario Speedwagon. When did you get a fish? Oh, yesterday. Why? I don't know, he's cool. What's with the interrogating? <sighs> Paul McCartney once sang, yesterday all my troubles seem so far away. But to be honest, yesterday was shitty too. Except for getting a fish. Come on. Let's take this at some and make it better. Wait! What walrus? This walrus! I thought Paul was the walrus. You know, if it wasn't for the existential terror of staring into the literal void of space, I'd say I'm feeling a little better today. The infection's run its course thanks to the blue meanie back there. Oh, you love her. Very practical. This is magical. I can't remember the last time I had a weekend off. Sounds exhausting. Uh, nobody wants to be the man who missed out on signing the Beatles. <laughs> More about missing out on life in the meantime. Well, the problem is that he just announced that he's going to drop out of school, play in his band, move in with his friends, and then write his own music in Starbucks. Isn't that how the Beatles started? You don't understand. You don't even have kids. Oh, it's one of the world's great cities, you know? It really is. And there's a lot of opportunities here, too, you know? Like, like with the Beatles' new record. You've heard it? It's, it's good. It's very, very experimental. And it's still number one on the charts, you know? That tells me that there is an appetite out there. The Beatles. Need anything? What are you listening to? It's 1958, the Beatles' first ever recording. In spite of all the danger. Written by McCartney and Harrison when they were only 15. Now listen to this. It's 1963. It's five years later. They now have Ringo and Lennon's just written, please, please me. Oh, oh wow. Alan Williams was their first manager. He had them play, but he didn't listen. Not like really listen. He couldn't see what they could be. Brian Epstein, he could. He had this like sixth sense. The potential. It would be strange if he turned to me and said, and what do you want to do today? You know, I just watched that documentary on George Harrison and I thought, own it. Own it. Be like George Harrison's wife. Being a wife and a mother, that's enough. Yeah, then I realized I couldn't remember her name. So, are you gonna play that thing without any music? Yeah, yeah, I just think, you know, reading music makes things a bit stilted. I'm not sure Mozart would agree with that. Well, the Beatles didn't read music and I think they did okay. Yeah, okay. What did you say your name was again? 
Elton. Elton? Hmm. Elton what? John. Elton John. Look, gentlemen, that's good. In the, in the 50s, he was as big as Elvis. In the 60s, he was like the Beatles. And next to the president, he was like the most powerful man in the country. That album was recorded in a, a famous studio in London. <clears throat> I was told uh, I should be very honored because the Beatles had been there. Do you know the Beatles? Yes, I know, but who they are? Of course you do. <laughs> Eleanor Rigby. Who? Eleanor Rigby. No, I don't know. You know, Yellow Submarine. Sorry, I don't know. The album, said. Yellow Submarine. Da, 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 bum. Yellow Submarine. That's silly. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> um, yes, I, I can't remember where the studio was. It was no, but uh, it was like a church or something. Abbey Road. Abbey, the Abbey, yes. The Abbey Road. See, you went to Abbey Road? No, 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 it would not have been appropriate. I said something wrong now I long for yesterday. Oh, what? what the hell was that? Yesterday. That was one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. Yeah. It's a bit, bit soppy, but it's sweet. When did you write that? I didn't write it. Paul McCartney wrote it. The Beatles. Who? The Beatles. The what? Life goes on, Tom. Is that what God says? Actually, it's Lennon and McCartney. Or Robert Frost. Take your choice. No. He was handsome, smart, French. He wore these, these sexy little John Lennon glasses. He did triathlons. Just in case. Just in case. In case of what? We've been extra careful since the Mark David Chapman thing. John Lennon's assassin. When the police arrived at the Dakota, they found Chapman calmly sitting on the sidewalk reading Catcher in the Rye. At his trial, Chapman said that the big part of him was Holland Caulfield. And the small part of him was... the devil. Now, yeah, the Beatles, they're, they're funny. But they ain't no Sam Cooke. <laughs> they're, they're, they're more of a fad. I let him up. What? Okay, listen. Brian Epstein did not sleep with the Beatles. Jerry Wexler and Aretha? No. I was just wondering you... where Leonard Cohen's house might have been. He had a house on here. Do you think he's got a blue plaque? Leonard Cohen lived here? Oh, yes, I would think so. I mean, Lennon and McCartney. I don't know. You. I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> you're trying to break up the band. Sandra, no, she's not. Dude, look, I don't know what Doug gave you, but you are, like, paranoid as fuck right now. You're gonna make it all. Like Yoko. The fuck is a Yoko? <laughs> Please, just listen to it again, okay? I have a great feeling about this song. And the Beatles are getting restless. They said if you don't do it, they will. The song is Catholic, Jerry. I'm a Baptist. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Wingo, by the way, just off the topic here. Is that your given name? Yeah, given by me. In honor of the greatest Beatle. Here we go again. What you mean, here we go again? What, a black man came like the Beatles? Uh, see, he's a true visionary with his instrument. You guys don't understand. He was the first rock and roll drummer. Influenced every rock drummer after him. Even the way that he held his sticks. Seriously. I don't joke about Wingo. Shakespeare sold fucking real estate, man. Salinger's hunkered down in some bunker. Lennon hid out in the Dakota and Morrison and... Joplin and Hendrix and Cobain, they all joined the 27 Club, and Mickey Adams went to fucking bed. I will be 30 years old. Older than Stephen Sondheim when he had his first Broadway show. Older than Paul McCartney when he wrote his last song with John Lennon. You know Curtis Blow? Or Sugar Hill Gang? 
No, but I have a lot of records at home. What do you got? I have the Beatles, the Red and Blue albums, which is basically all their best songs. I heard they might get back together soon. You, you just this whole Beatle thing. Yeah, I finished my thesis and I shared my Fab Four persona. Beatlemania sweeps America as teens turn their attention to the teenage rock. Confirmation, but guests look to include Dora Bryan, Sir Laurence Olivier, Steve Orvet, Dame Flora Robson, Dusty Springfield, and possibly Paul McCartney. Goodness. Yes, I know. Lives in Rye. On the guitar Paul wrote it on. <laughs> I know, legit, right? But look at your face, it was worth it. Oh, my friends, my friends. Oh. Hunter, it's not that bad, actually, once you get used to it. Seriously. Hunter, seriously, our band is gonna be so awesome. I'm gonna practice like five hours a day. I'm a better than Ringo Starr. Oh. <laughs> How about that? And I've got some amazing news. I've officially gotten the word that we have broken the Beatles record for most singles in the Billboard Top 10. Oh. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs>